can you imagine being engulfed in lava? Lava. The stuff that is in volcanoes. Can you imagine being engulfed in lava? You would say perhaps if you are pushed totally in there, you may die in a short time period. Okay. What if I tell you, let's say that you die now and you go to a place, a section in a place that has lava there. You know that you can't die a second time. Once you die from this world, you are not able to die a second time. So if someone pushes you in lava, imagine the torment, imagine the pain. And you have to feel that the entire time that you are in the lava. I don't know if this makes any sense to you. You may hate God. You may think God is a tyrant. You may think that God just wants control, so on and so on. Okay. What if God was all of those things? Can you overthrow God? No. Can you even touch God? No. Can you even create yourself and create your own world, realm, and create your own humans? No. Whether you believe God is a tyrant or not, what can you do about it? I'm serious. What can you do about it? You can't do a thing. So why even rebel? You know when you die. If you die and as a disobedient person to him, you know that you are going to hell. I know that you have been raped or molested or abused, so on and so on. And I know that you may even blame God for it. Well, you know, if God was a good God, he would have stopped my brother, my sister, my dad, my father, my nephew, my niece, my acquaintance, my co-worker, so on and so on, you may say this. So what you do, or what you may do, you may rebel against God, call upon demons, believe that demons are your friend or friends, and get demons to attack other people. You have to understand that if demons are so willing to attack other people, what makes you special than other people? Once you die, do you believe that they are going to stay loyal to you? Of course not. You are going to see the demons' true colors. Actually, Demons are actually attacking people that are calling upon them. So if they are doing that now, imagine what they are going to do once you die. Can you imagine being fully submerged in lava? The torment, the pain, the anguish. You can't die. You can't die. You are going to feel the pain. If someone was to stab you 
in the stomach now. That would really, really hurt so bad, right? So much. But being submerged in fire, I would believe that is much more painful. Having lava in your eyes, in your mouth, on your tongue, your feet, your legs, your behind, your ears, lava everywhere. If you are on earth, if you were to touch lava, that would burn off your finger or your hand or whatever part of the body you are placing lava on. But can you imagine being fully submerged in lava and not being able to die? but feel the pain. And you are screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming and you can't die. I know for myself, I don't like pain. I don't like torment. So whether you feel that God is a tyrant a cruel God, mean, whatever else, if you can't overthrow God, if you can't change your fate, or if you can't overthrow God, why even rebel against him? The only reason you feel the way that you feel about God, because you are in darkness now. So your perception is clouded. But once you begin to follow his rules and regulations, things are going to make much more sense. Demons have no love for you. If they were willing to try to overthrow God, why would they be loyal to you? Think about that. Aren't they using you? They want you to pray to them, sacrifice animals and take your blood and stuff like that. Aren't they using you? Won't they attack you if you don't do things right or whatever else? So why do you believe that they are loyal to you? I don't care what type of God you believe that there is or I don't care what your opinion is about the true God. If the true God has authority and power over you and he can send you to hell, hey, no matter what your thoughts are about him, it would be very wise to serve him. Even if you don't like everything about him, so what? He has complete authority to send you anywhere that he likes. So knowing that, it is foolish to rebel against him. Even if you get raped 1,000 times, even if your mom used to beat you up every day, I'd rather take that than to be thrown into lava. Why have a horrible life on earth, then go to hell and have things worse? You are saying that you have a horrible life now, but why rebel against God, then go to hell and have a life that is much more horrible? I pray that makes sense. It is foolish to rebel against God for any reason, no matter what he allows in our lives. That is his choice. I'd rather have a bad life on earth and have a very good afterlife once I die. So no matter what happens to me on earth, I am going to serve God. No matter what, why? 
Well, one of the many reasons, I don't want to go to hell. So hey, if I have to endure something, so be it. I pray that this makes sense. And I am trying to make things really simple to understand. To even touch lava would be painful enough, but being fully submerged in lava for a long time, can you imagine that? My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.